ladies and gentlemen, after almost two years, finally Hyrus has decided to fix the problem the Paladins has with newer processors of Intel. If you didn't know about this, if you have a brand new computer, you tried to log into Paladins on Steam and you saw that the game just didn't start, that's right, now it is actually fixed. If you remember, if at least if you got, came across the video, I did two videos actually, not just one, where I actually taught people on how to skip this error. Uh, essentially after the easy anti-cheat, the game just would disappear, it would just vanish, no error, no error, no nothing, just like literally just poof. And the two options, the first one would be going into the files and changing the launch of the game to 32 bits, and then eventually I found out a better solution that was actually because on Smite it had a similar problem and somebody put it up on Reddit and so I did a video with the code and people would just have to put this code on the launch options of Steam and guess what, it would work amazing. And after almost two years now, they finally have fixed it for Steam. And the problem, the according to what I can understand, the reason actually to why this happened was because of the entire issue that was happening for Epic Game users just a couple of weeks ago, one week, maybe two weeks ago, where people would just have error launching, you know, the, account, the accounts wouldn't connect and so on. And when people talked to me about it, I was always like, you're on Epic Games, aren't you? And they're like, yeah. So I came across a lot of people on my stream, which by the way, twitch.tv slash creepers. I did change my name, it's no longer creepersyt on, on Twitch and you can just find it even easier than before. But, shameless plug aside, um, many people came across with me on stream and did say, oh I can't start the game, do you guys, you guys know anything about it? And I would always come to the conclusion that it was just Epic Games and eventually, um, I would tell people to go to Steam and it would work, but then some people with a higher end computer or more recent computers with a higher um, generation of the Intel processors would eventually come across the error that I was talking about and they would then be forced to use one of the two solutions that I presented in my two videos almost two years ago um, and they would then be able to get into the game. Now, just for a little bit of background story. When this happened, soon after, I also found out that Ram Real was also having the exact same issue. Not just Ram Real, but Smite and Rogue Company as well. So it was essentially high risk games. I can't really go into details because I don't really know the terms and so on, but I do know that it was connected to something called OpenSSL. And because of the OpenSSL, you could then eventually just be locked out of the game. You, you, the easy anti-cheat loading little square would show up and then the game would just not load up. So after that, I figured out that with the code I could start every single one of the games. And I found out that Thanks to this, I could play Ram Real because Ram Real, for example, couldn't actually play with 32 bits. Now, you're probably wondering, yeah, but Creepers, this is Paladins, why are you talking so much about Ram Real? Well, Ram Real sort of came from Paladins, right? And it took this entire bug for me to find out that there's not a 32 bit version of Ram Real, or at least it's not as easy as Paladins to start. Um, you know, when I tried to start by changing the files on Ram Real to 32 bits, I actually didn't manage to do it because the game just wouldn't launch in 32 bits. So there was even worse chances of starting the game there. It was exactly with the code of launch options on Steam or nothing. And I didn't find that solution as soon as possible, okay? First it was the 32 bits, it took me like almost one or two months to then find the launch code. So for a very long time I couldn't play Ram Real while I had my new brand new computer. and. This brings me to the final thing, which this year, earlier this year, almost at the start of the year, after soon they started back again with Ram Real Reforged, um, a couple of months later, they actually found the problem and solved it. They immediately solved it. No more need for codes, no need for changing files, nothing. And I was surprised, why does Ram Real can do this in such an easy, fast way, but Paladin still has to continue with this? And I'm going to be honest, I am not attacking the developers. However, I'm, you know, since I'm talking about this, why not talk about the entire full story? Um, back in the day, I specifically went to the developers and told them, listen, in order to start Paladins, I need either a code or to change files to 32 bits. 
here is the code and here's the file that I need to change. You guys have a problem with OpenSSL and you need to fix it. People with higher end computers will not be able to start. And they said that they would be taking a look, look into it, but apparently they didn't because either they just didn't know the fix and maybe people at Ramrial were lucky and then they transmitted that knowledge over to Paladins or maybe just never there was never importance enough into this issue. But the thing is, let's be real here, anyone with a high-end computer that would probably try to go to Paladins like, oh, you know, I used to play Paladins, let me go there and try now. They probably would be shut down and not be able to play the game. That is a lot of players that potentially never even managed to play the game again after they just upgraded their computers. So you can see my point of what I'm trying to say here, right? And it's a bit sad. but. I'm super happy that they did fix it now, uh, after so long, unfortunately, but at least that. Uh, it does mean that my videos will now be obsolete, but just in case I'm still gonna leave them up, because you never know. And um, you know, Rogue Company's still up, I don't know if they already fixed it there as well, so you might as well just leave it there, because the video is not only for Paladins. But with this all said, uh, yes, Hyrus has fixed the issue with Steam. They also have fixed the issue with Epic Games. And not only that, but to compensate until Wednesday. Today is day 18. So it is Monday. So two more days until day 20 of September. You will be able to have three times the XP of both champion account battle pass and everything so if you are looking to finish up that golden omen skin you should definitely go for it now or just get your levels for your favorite champions one thing that will be changing on this channel is that i'm going to be doing a lot more news videos instead of gameplays or tutorials and focus a little bit more on that and then i'm also going to be doing a lot more tutorials for streamers obs users photoshop and Sony Vegas just in general, but I will try to put that more on TikTok. So if you want to catch all of that, go and check out my TikTok. There will be a link in the description to find all of my socials, including my Discord, where you guys can join and have a good time, just play games offline, or just talk to me in general, all right? So there you go. Really happy with this recent change and this fix from Hyrus. It probably, if you were one of the people affected, they couldn't play the game because of sad problem because you upgraded your computer you should definitely give it a try now you're probably going to be able to play the game and if you did have the command you can now just clean it you don't have to worry about it anymore and you can just play the game so that's pretty much it for this video folks thank you so much for watching thank you so much for going all the way to the end of the video and i appreciate you all very very much i'll see you guys on the next one and until then have a wonderful time bye bye